while we appreciate that food safety security and safe environment are the basics of human survival we also recognize the challenges we face to ensure food security and safety to arrest the malnutrition of many remotely placed small landholders rural community indigenous tribal groups in particular the small landholder farmers particularly the tribals of dry land and rain fed areas are facing the burnt of degradation of natural resources that is threatening their food and livelihood security lack of sustainable livelihood lack of means for sustainable agriculture the situation is getting further aggravated with the threat of climate change of the many factors causing climate change adding to the war some of them are deforestation loss of biodiversity soil and water pollution and extensive use of non-renewable fuel while many initiatives actions programs and projects are being taken all over the world by the government and non-governmental organizations worth mentioning are the efforts and endeavors of eprad indian institute of biosocial research and development established in the year 1985 eprad has contributed significantly in the field of involving the community in sustainable forest conservation and sustainable agriculture management for livelihood decades of study by ebrad on the challenging issues of forest conservation joint forest management in particular sustainable livelihood revealed that any kind of natural resource based livelihood and sustainable agriculture cannot be successful if it is planned through any single sector like forest or agriculture or water resource or any other ignoring the concept of agro ecosystem moreover the small holder farmers cannot survive by managing only one sector or resource like forest water or livestock rather they have to diversify their livelihood by using different natural resources like forests agriculture water body livestock available in their vicinity small holder farmers neither to have large piece of agricultural land available nor the access to critical inputs of agriculture like irrigation water fertilizers and pesticides hence intervention strategies are to be made to improve the productivity of whatever available land they have in their homestead or field and develop their capacity to produce their own inputs for producing the crops based on locally available resources so that they would have both access and control over the critical inputs of agriculture and horticulture production understanding the interdependent relationship among soil agriculture farm livestock and forest will help in the planning for the sustainable agriculture let us now explore once the concept of integrated landscape management is conceived by ebrad what kind of strategy has been designed and tried in the field the concept of integrated landscape management is not new it has been recommended by the fao un and icar what is unique in this approach introduced by ebrad is that it is bringing a new social order through the community participation for the food security and safety of the food what we need we need sustainable agriculture that means the agriculture should be brought for today and tomorrow for the next generation also 
what happens often we plan the agricultural practices based on what agricultural land we have and what kind of seed or manure or fertilizer you have this will not make sustainability of the agriculture crop what is needed it forms the complete agro ecosystem that means with the agriculture soil the rich soil with the microbes manure healthy soil we need water that means with the agriculture field the water body around either could be from any source for irrigation once the agriculture land soil and water is there the agriculture sustainable depends on the biodiversity that means variety of seed variety of plant and number of insects pollinators for a good sustainable agriculture for that the forest around the agriculture field have rich biodiversity the pollinators which will help in the agricultural product and the livestock we see these days the farmers are considering the drought livestock as a burden but they are the capital the livestock produces the dung which will be used for the manure so the interdependency of the agricultural field the water body with the forest biodiversity and livestock that completes make the agro ecosystem for sustainable agriculture system what happens often the foresters will manage the forest ignoring the agriculture field the agriculture sector they will never care what kind of biodiversity are there around the forest so there is no communication between the forest officials and the agriculture for a integrated landscape management he brought proposes to have the identification of the landscape and then integrated landscape management for agriculture by involving all the sector immediately after getting the government order ibrad organized series of state level district level and block level workshops to share the concept the approaches and the methods to be followed in the field for sustainable agriculture it was made clear that sustainable agriculture does not mean large scale production area expansion only rather in the context of small holder farmers the emphasis is on to develop their capacity to produce critical inputs for agriculture or horticulture production in terms of organic fertilizers bio control methods of managing pests rainwater harvesting to improve the productive potentials of the soil conserve biodiversity and retain soil moisture and applying such inputs produced by them in homestead kitchen gardens and small plots of land build confidence and then replicate in the agricultural fields such workshops helped ibrad to receive suggestions from the government officials and it further helped to involve the government field functionaries from the forest agriculture animal resource development department and horticulture department who all came to the field and helped in preparing the convergent plan for conservation of natural resources and practice for sustainable agriculture let us see how ibrad moved forward in the field for implementation of the rkvy project for sustainable agriculture after the workshops the landscapes with a core village and a cluster of 3 to 4 villages were identified after discussion at the block level meetings for implementation of the rkvy project for sustainable agriculture after identification of the villages community level meetings were organized to create awareness about the importance of conservation of natural resources and how the community themselves can take part in implementation of the project for sustainable livelihood the process included in making the community understand panchatatva the interdependent relationship of the agricultural farm with its adjacent habitats 
like forests, water body, pasture lands and livestock. Such concepts of Panchatattva for creating awareness and involving the community in conservation and developing livelihood have been appreciated and are being followed by many other states like Orissa, Charkhand and Chhattisgarh. During this exercise of Panchatattva, some proactive change agents known as SECO, self-initiated community organizers at the village level are identified to work as volunteers but not as a paid staff in the project. Next exercise is conducting survey and PRA for understanding the demographic and livelihood profile of the farmers as in a village. Followed by identification of the SECO, the villagers are asked to form common interest groups, CIG, that means those who wish to start some kind of organic vegetable garden can form a group. Others may prefer to start some kind of production of organic manure and can sell to the vegetable growers. The fishermen can also have a group too. All this is done through the participatory rural appraisal exercise and through the focused group discussions, followed by the formation of the Common Interest Group CIG. Series of training, skill development are organized depending upon the training need assessment in the village itself at the Prashikshan Shibir. The community is trained to establish their own Prashikshan Shibir, a training and skill development hut in the line of farmers field schools. Construction of such Prashikshan Shibir by the community as collective action brings the sense of pride, identity and more important a self-esteem of successful action as first step for visual impact, particularly when the dignitaries like the DFO or BDO or Sabhapati come to inaugurate the Shibir at the community level. Ibra designed the training modules and approaches for participatory natural resource management based on andragogy, principles of adult learning available to create awareness and involve the community to have their own social groups through SECO, self-initiated community organizers as social institutions and train them to practice in the field. While the skills and knowledge are the driving forces of economic and social development for any nation, we have sufficient manpower, but all of them are not skilled enough to get a job. The trainings of the smallholder farmers are targeted to involve more women and also men members to develop their capacity to produce the inputs like soil test and soil preparation, seed bed preparation, seed treatment, vermicompost, vermivosh, nimastra, dashaparni, amritjal and so on so that the farmers can produce the inputs based on the local resources, have control over the inputs at the critical stages of production and also do not have to incur extra burden by spending money for purchasing such inputs from the market. Moreover, they can revive the productive potentials of soil, water, biodiversity through application of these inputs. Therefore, their natural resource base will be maintained. There must be some impact or outcome immediately after the training, performance-based result, all which will benefit the farmers by building their confidence and motivating them. Chairman of Ibrad and the internationally acclaimed social and developmental consultant S.B. Roy observed that the strategic management process for transforming skill landscape is far more challenging than teaching in the university. While there is need to train the growing youth at the village 
not many want to get inducted in farmer's occupation. Even the farmer does not want his gen next to grow as farmers. The social, economical and ecological branding of farming is absolutely necessary as a sought after profession and career. Along with branding for profession of skill development trainer as a more prestigious occupation than any other ordinary teaching profession. What are the outcomes? Like Pradhan Malik, it is very encouraging to see how even primitive tribes like the Lodhas or the Shobos PVTG are engaged in preparation of Fermi compost and using them in their kitchen gardens. in addition to the tea akati of chargam shushnigeria pani sol women organized as shg are producing vermi compost vermi wash Nimastra, Amritchal, in Debardanga, taken land on lease and producing vegetables, selling the inputs in stall of tribal fairs. The training need assessment of the community as whole and not as individual farmer in isolation has to be designed. Ibrad's holistic training package for skill development enhances the trainee group's personality through honing of social skills and behavior change. With hand holdings, collaborations, synergizing with different partners and stakeholders, and adequate patronization by the government, visible changes can be witnessed. Mind horizons changed. Great branding value for agriculture, farming as a career and as a skill development trainer established, igniting the mind of the individual, inspiring the community all towards sustainable agriculture and safe food options for the world and improve livelihood security of the smallholder marginalized farmers.